The Russian military continues to shell residential areas of Severodonetsk and the industrial zone in a chaotic manner. Now it is under the control of the armed forces of Ukraine. Fierce street fighting in the city continues. There is currently no threat of the encirclement. The situation is difficult but fully controlled by our defenders. All the plans of Russia have been crushed by our defenders. The well-known thesis of three, four days to capture Kyiv has come down to the fact that they have not been able to capture Severodonetsk for more than four months. The day before it was possible to evacuate 40 people from the Luhansk region. The majority were from Lysychansk. Humanitarian aid was also delivered to the Ukrainian-controlled territories. In the Donetsk region, the enemy suffered significant losses near the village of Berestove in the Bakhmut district. The general's staff of the armed forces of Ukraine says that Russian troops are now actively preparing for the assault on Slovyansk. In the Slovyansk direction, the Ukrainian military is successfully disrupting the enemy's attempts to improve the tactical positions towards the city of Slovyansk. The occupiers focus their efforts on preparing for the offensives. The enemy shells civilian infrastructure in the districts of Vilne, Adamivka, Dolina and Tetyanivka. The enemy carried out an airstrike on Slovyansk. The Ukrainian armed forces destroyed three enemy ammunition depots during the day. Seven enemy attacks were repulsed. A favorable situation is developing in Melitopol's Zaporizhia region. According to the head of the city, Ivan Fedorov, Russian troops may soon leave Melitopol. The occupiers understand that they will not be able to hold Melitopol for a long time under the pressure of the armed forces of Ukraine and are preparing to leave before they are pushed out by Ukrainian military forces. This scenario is indicated by the export of stolen grain by rail and the removal of checkpoints in the area. Ivan Fedorov, mayor of Melitopol. The enemy had been firing non-stop from mortars and large-caliber machine guns in the Sumer region the day before. Air bombs were also dropped. The building of the State Border Guard Service of Ukraine was destroyed. Residential areas were also hit. There was at least one person wounded. A Russian missile also hit the center of Kharkiv. A fire broke out. Rescuers arrived to the site. No casualties have been reported. The village of Pisochin in the Kharkiv region was also shelled. The threat of missile strikes is currently growing, the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine said. The threat of missile attacks from temporarily occupied Crimea is growing. The occupiers deployed the Iskander M missile division 8 kilometers from the administrative border with the Kherson region. Oleksandr Motuzianik, spokesperson of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. Ukraine received the bodies of dead Ukrainians during the exchange with Russia. Most of them were defenders of Mariupol. At the front line in the Zaporizhia region, an exchange of bodies of deceased soldiers took place between Ukraine and Russia following the formula 50 for 50. 37 out of the 50 Ukrainian soldiers are defenders of Azovstal. From the report of the Ministry of Reintegration of the Temporarily Occupied Territories of Ukraine. Mariupol residents stand in a kilometer-long line to get spoiled food. An advisor to the mayor of Mariupol, Petron Drushenko, said that the Russian occupiers also take residents' bodies to the supermarket where they give out food. The bodies are removed daily from under the debris of destroyed multi-story buildings. Most of all are in the basements and entrances of the so-called Khrushchev houses. The corpses are taken by trucks to the morgue near the metro or to the former base Sherry Kum on the left bank. If the bodies are not mummified, they are taken directly to one of the two landfills. An endless caravan of death. Petro Andrushenko, advisor to the mayor of Mariupol. Every day a flute sounds in the center of Dnipro. Six-year-old Solomia goes out on the central square to collect money for the Ukrainian army. 118,000 hryvnas have already been transferred. Reported by Marina Stepanenko, Alexander Belov, UATV News.